Do you have questions about where to find different things in your Thinkific dashboard? In August of this year, Thinkific changed uh, their entire dashboard, actually, the admin dashboard in your Thinkific site. And so I get a ton of questions about where to find this or where to find that. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through your whole dashboard, show you where you can find everything. And if you want a free roadmap, that will help you through this process of finding what you need to find, just click the link below and I've got a free download for you. I'm Kim Garnett, founder of Brainy Girl, and we help novice course creators create and launch courses that sell. So when you first log into your Thinkific dashboard, you can also get here by clicking on the Thinkific logo on the top left. What you're gonna see is your total revenue, your signups, and your enrollments in your courses. And then if you scroll down here, you're going to see all of your most recent enrollments. And then if you scroll down even further, you're going to see all your most recent orders here. So you can also filter by timelines, and this would give you a more accurate report of your revenue signups and enrollments. From here, you've got several different categories to choose from on the left hand side. So we'll start at the top with design your site. So basically Thinkific has, think of it as two very separate parts of your Thinkific site. One is the back-end administrative part where you're setting up your courses, you're, you're dealing with your settings, your payment integrations, things like that. And then the whole other side of Thinkific or your Thinkific site is your landing pages. So that's your home page, your course sales pages, your bundle sales pages, any custom pages. So those are all going to be on your um, site builder. So if we go under design your site here, you're going to find your site builder here, which is where you go in to design and change your landing pages. Then you've got your theme library where you can change your theme that you're using. And then you've got preview website. So that's what you're going to find here. So if you want to design any or edit any of your landing pages, you're going to find that here under site builder. So let's go in there for a second. So in your site builder section, you're going to have your theme settings. So these are theme wide settings, and then you're going to have your pages to design. So you've got your home page, your courses. If you click into courses, it's going to show all your um, courses that you've created in there, your bundle sales page, your default pages, and your custom pages. So this is where you would do any changes on your landing pages. Let's X out of this and go back to your Thinkific dashboard. Okay, so under the next part here, which is manage learning content, you've got courses. So we'll click into that. And this is going to list all your courses here. It's also going to list your memberships and bundles. And it's also where you can reorder your courses. So how they show up on your Thinkific site. Your player settings here is where you're going to modify your course player. So this is the look and feel of the section that the students take the course in. So that's under player settings here. Under categories is where you can create and edit categories on your site. So if you have a number of different topics that you create courses around, you could set those up as categories and then add certain courses to those categories. Under instructors is where you're going to edit your instructor profiles or set up new instructor profiles. Your video library is where you can edit your videos so you can add custom thumbnails, you can change the player colors, uh, you can check your analytics of your videos and you can upload new videos here. Those are all hosted on Thinkific and those are in your video library. You may also see the option of publication requests here. This is with certain Thinkific pass packages. And this is if you had a course admin that was building out courses for you and you wanted to check them over before they go live, those would go in here under publication requests. And under share revenue is where you're going to see any split revenue. So if you are co-instructing courses with someone and you want to pay them out a certain percentage on every course that sells, that would be under share revenue. Now under market and sell, you're going to find your coupons. So this is where you can create discount codes and any coupons that you want to be able to offer for promotions on your courses. Under sales widgets, you're going to be able to build widgets that could live on an external uh, page, like a website or a landing page that would link right over to your courses in Thinkific. Under orders here, you're going to see all your most recent orders. You can also export these and you can filter by date. Under integrations is where you're going to connect your Stripe and or PayPal. You're going to find certain automation tools such as Zapier or Infusionsoft. You've got your Google Analytics, your Facebook Analytics or your Facebook pixel code here. This is where you can connect to your email marketing service provider, where you can set up your certificates for students, or you can connect to Sumo as well here. Under affiliates here, you're going to be able to again filter by date and manage your affiliates from this area. You can also get a snapshot of all unpaid commissions, paid commissions, denied commissions, 
and total commissions paid out, as well as all of your affiliate partners right under here. Under users is where you're going to be able to find all of the users. So anyone who's created an account on your site, whether they have enrolled in a course or not, it will show you their full name, uh, their first name, the amount spent, the date the account was created, their email address, and if you go into any of these, you can see their details, their enrollments, their activity feed, and any groups that they're involved in. Under groups, you're gonna be able to see all of the groups. So if you're enrolling groups of people into your courses for bulk license purchases or anything like that, this is the groups tab where you'd find all of the information about your groups. Under progress is where you can pull progress reports based on courses that your students are enrolled in. Under discussions is where you can enable or disable internal discussions within your courses and you can also approve and disapprove discussion comments. This would be the screen to do that. Under reviews here is where you're going to be able to enable or disable reviews on all of your courses or certain courses. You can also see the reviews. Um, you can approve and deny or edit reviews here as well. Under quiz and survey, you can pull reports from your quizzes and surveys that you have inside your programs and generate a CSV file uh, with all your student results in there. And under notifications is where you're going to set up your notifications. It's also where you're going to set up your student email notifications uh, and your course welcome emails and your course completion emails if you're sending those through Thinkific. Under settings here is where you're going to find your site details, so the name of your site. It's going to have your reply to and your support emails here. It's where you can set up a custom domain for your site. You enable or disable your SSL certificate and you can remove your Thinkific branding from here. You can also modify some of the text um, site-wide in this area. Under the learning content tab is where you're going to find your course player style. So again, this is where the student is taking the course. So you can set the background color, you can set the font, you can add your logo, you can enable or disable the course progress screen, change your language settings, and again, modify some site-wide text for the learning content. Under orders and accounts, this is where you're going to do your sign in and sign up settings. So you can choose to enable social settings if you want. You can add a privacy policy, terms of use agreement, add your custom sign up fields, do your order setup for receipts, and modify text site-wide, again, in regards to orders. Under your code and analytics tab here, you're going to find any site footer code that you want to put in there, order tracking code, sign up tracking code, your Google site verification meta tags, and your webhooks, and you can find your API information in here as well. Under your account here, it's going to show that you can update your plan, you can get your account details, or you can log out of your site. If you know anyone that you think could use Thinkific, you can actually give a month of Thinkific free to them just by clicking on that button here. It's going to give you a link that you can copy and send to them and they'll get a month free on the Thinkific uh, paid plan. Right within your Thinkific site, you can access a number of help topics by clicking on Help Center. This will actually take you to the support portal for Thinkific and you can search for what you're looking for. So if you want to know something to do with coupons, you type in coupons here, it'll give you all of the potential options. If we just press enter here, it'll bring them up and give you solutions and topics. So that's really handy to have right within your Thinkific site. And then any updates to the site or any blog posts that they've added or theme updates is going to be there under updates and it's just going to give you an overview and then you can click on any of them to have a look at, at what the theme updates are or any new um, features or blog posts that Thinkific has released. And then on the left hand side, you can become an affiliate partner for Thinkific, which means if you're promoting Thinkific, you can get paid to do that. So click on become a partner and you can apply to become one of their affiliates. So don't forget to click the link below to get your dashboard cheat sheet. And if you need help getting your Thinkific site set up and your course online, hit the link below and let us know.